All right. Um, and exactly, uh, Caleb, again, looking at this one, I want to go over this really quickly to finish this off. So again, ladies and gentlemen, um, to do this one, this was question number seven on page 104. So again, to go and do this one, the same thing applies. We go over this over and over and over. We're trying to find angle B, right? I believe that's what they're asking. Yes, angle B. So we find our 90 degree angle. First thing, label the hypotenuse. Second thing, label the angle that goes from your angle to the hypotenuse. And we call that side the adjacent side. Therefore, the side that's directly across is our opposite. Now, in this case, we don't have anything on our opposite side. So therefore, we need to choose a function. We need to choose a function that only deals with the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And Jacob, do you remember? Yep. Cosine. Cosine of B equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, do we know the adjacent side? 25. Do we know the hypotenuse? 30. So cosine of B equals 25 over 30. Then B equals cosine inverse of 25 over 30. Right? So now, huh? Yes, for that whole homework assignment, you're doing the same thing. Whenever you're trying to find the angle, that's what you're going to be doing is using the inverse function. So now I just take inverse cosine, parentheses, 25 divided by 30, and that gives me 33.56 when rounded to the tenth. Okay. Good.